everyone back with session three with Hank and we're gonna start off right away with working with the saddle pad bringing it off of him and then going to the saddle and then we'll see from there that might be all we get to he just had two days off because I was at a horse show so we're gonna go back into it and see where his pace is at I'm just gonna brush him down because he definitely enjoyed that rain that we had this morning and basically, I'm going to set the saddle pad deal up the same exact way that we had it in the last video where I had the rope of the whip tied onto it so I can kind of pull it off whenever. Good boy. So that looks like a little bit of a trigger for him walking with this rope kind of coming from his side. So I'm going to take a look at that in just one second. enough just to kind of walk over it once it was down there. Hopefully that was in frame. Good boy. All right, so I feel pretty confident with this saddle pad coming on and off each side. Good boy. And I normally wouldn't do it that close to him, but we already did. This is now the second day of having this fall off. So I feel like I'm in a pretty safe area based on his reactions, just to try to check and see where he's at. Good boy. Good, you're okay. Good boy.
Good. Very good boy. Alright, and then I'm going to go up and do one of his triggers, which is just touching his hind leg right away. Good boy. Good, that was great. Very nice. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to my Pessoa saddle, which is my old Colt starting saddle. I now use my black DMK, but this Pessoa one did me many good years, and it still comes into use because I don't mind if it falls on the ground. Come here, Hanky. Away. Again, just like when we introduced that saddle pad, I'm going to make sure I have enough of this lead rope. Good boy. Good, buddy. And I'm going to walk him around a little bit with it on before sending him out. interesting reaction. He kind of was acting like he had to pass some manure. Good boy. So I was slowing down on him and kind of figuring out what he was trying to do, but I don't know if that might have been one of his nervous reactions to this. So he kind of blew off my first reward there. There we go. Caught him that time. Good. There we go. Good. I was kind of worried that. Good. Good. So here I'm going to ask him to go out again, and if we get the same reaction, we're going to break it down a little bit more for him. You can tell his mind is kind of all over the place right now. Good. So 
like I was saying, I'm going to reward him anytime he has a worried moment, and then he is able to kind of calm back down, I'm going to clock and reward that. Good. Or just when he has a lot of really good relaxed moments. Good. So I'm about to bump him back up into the trot. I'd be interested to see how he reacts when he's um, cinched up and everything. Good. Good boy. It's almost like he's trying to protect it from falling off like a person so and I know he was ridden by a couple of more beginner type riders so maybe they were like really bracy on him as soon as he started because he was still green when you left the makeover most of them are green when they leave the makeover still good boy so I wonder if his like slowing down good Good boy. His slowing down is kind of in response to um, someone losing their balance on him. Good boy. Good boy. of letting him stop there, I'm going to ask him to walk past it. That way it can maybe get rid of some of that hesitation. That time I really pushed him through it and made him keep moving. And I'm switching back and forth between directions. There's not any real reason to do one side versus the other right now. It's kind of all. Good boy. my ground, wait, send him forward, have him keep going, but then when he got kind of right in front of the camera, he actually released on his own without me having to uh, reward him quite yet, and he was looking and chewing. Good boy. Good. So I couldn't 
can't tell if I was just confusing him with the cues or if he was actually blocking me out over there. Good boy. So I'm not going to make too big of a deal over that. Okay, and so right now I'm just looking at this kind of agitation. Good, so I'm just gonna wait. Good boy. Now I saw something. When I tapped him on the butt that time, he got a little bit worried. So what I'm going to do now, and maybe without reason, but I'm going to kind of toss this rope behind at him. Good boy. Okay, so this is something else that I'm going to work on with him. I'm going to get a flag one of these days. And he's really good at obviously the freeze state, holding everything in, holding it all together. When he's standing still, when he's moving, is where all that spooking is happening. So if I can, and let me try it with my stick and string first. So I'm gonna keep encouraging him to move forward. is definitely something that's bothering him because anytime you do it he's going to go slow down and he gets that look on his face where he hops away from it good and so the key to this for him to know the difference between when I'm driving him versus when I'm desensitizing is all in the energy that I'm putting through my left arm right now
you guys could see part of that. I kind of did part of it off frame, but good boy. What I'm going to do right now is some desensitizing with my body, with him. Because I'm just curious what he would do. We just hop around him a little bit. Come here, buddy. So this is the last thing that I'm going to do with him today. Good. Good. And obviously we're going to have to do the saddle a couple more times. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good. Super. Good job, buddy. Very nice. So I feel like judging by his facial expression right now, he's not too worried up here. And so that's making me think maybe like, maybe like an inanimate object. And then when that moves, that kind of freaks him out. But like, Whereas I'm, good boy, kind of moving and breathing the whole time. Good. It might be a little different because he's aware that I'm up there the whole time and doesn't really try to avoid it. Good. I'm going to end on that. Avoid it or get away from it or anything. Um, it might just make more sense to him. But I think today was the first session where we could really see a little bit more of the trigger and uh, how he, come here, bud how he reacted to that saddle flopping off. So that makes me think I want to do a Sir Single Stone, kind of see how he reacts to that girth pressure and how he reacts to something on him that's not going to fall off after I do the saddle falling off one more time. Make sure he's comfortable with that and then we'll kind of secure something to him, so the Sir Single. Um, and then work through that in really little steps. I have a feeling when I add the pillows to the Sir Single or when I put the saddle on and um, it starts moving around and it stays on and the stirrups move and all. I'm going to have to do a lot of stopping, rewarding, all of that stuff. Just to try to make him comfortable again with all of this. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you got something out of today's session. And we'll see you next time.